Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The best uh, free supplement to your uh, paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a paid supplement, you don't already have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it. Uh, the subject matter expert, Chuck Lowenstein, uh, for NASA exams at Kaplan is excellent. And I think it's the best QBank in the business, obviously. With my uh, Guru 10 discount code at checkout for Kaplan products and services, I think you can bring this in for about uh, $60 or so. For that um, commercial, uh, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content like this uh, request. We'll help you with any question from any vendor. It's just uh, easier to provide that assistance when it's a yeah, Kaplan question. So this is QID 126-3569. Uh, as a 65-66 test taker, you should expect at least one very high probability question on the efficient market hypothesis. Lower probability, but you could encounter two, right? So the semi-strong form of the efficient market hypothesis. You know, hypothesis isn't truth. It's just a way of explaining things. It's informative. I mean, you know, I can't tell you how many times if I get into it with my brother, he has a hypothesis, I have an hypothesis. I say, of course, we, mo we both might be wrong. You know, I like my hypothesis better because it explains more, but, you know, to be determined. But, you know, if you're going to uh, subscribe to this in terms of uh, being informative, then there's certain uh, different uh, forms of it. I think it's easier to either go with the weak form or the strong form, and then, you know, semi-strong would be in the middle. So if I think of the strong form of efficient market hypothesis, nothing works, including material non-public information. If I start from the weak form, I say, okay, well, technical analysis doesn't work, historical information, but fundamental analysis may. So if fundamental, fundamental analysis may work, then you know that means semi-strong would mean fundamental and technical analysis don't work. The only thing that works is material non-public information. Anyways, uh, it's a buffet, take what you like, leave what you don't. Uh, the semi-strong asserts that stock prices are. So one of the test-taking uh, uh, tips I provide to you is to project what you think the answer should be. So before I read the answer set, RTFQ, I've read the full question. I think I understand the question. And based on what I just uh, said, what I'm going to be looking for is something that provides me an answer that says material non-public information does work. Uh, technical and fundamental analysis doesn't work. That's what I'm looking for in terms of projecting an answer. So let's see if I can find an answer that comes close to that. You know, I told you all these NASA exams, one of the challenges is figuring out what you're being asked. I think we're clear what we're being asked here, but I had a young lady tell me she's good at that, but now it's not so clear on the answers that are being offered. So let's see if we have an answer offered to us that we like. Uh, fully reflect all publicly available information. I like that. I like that. It looks like that is indeed the answer, right? Now, uh, let's say I wasn't sure about A. As a test taker, maybe what I want to bring now to the table is process of elimination, something like that. So let's see what choice uh, B says. Fully reflect all historical uh, price information. Now, I think that would be more the, the weak form. Uh, C. Uh, fully reflect all relevant information, including ins insider information. We should have been able to eliminate that C as a test taker because we should have known that C is the strong form. So we should have been able to eliminate C. So maybe we're a little challenged on B, but C should be out pretty quickly. Don't reflect any information. Well, that, again, should have been out quickly. So you should have had a 50-50 pretty quickly on uh, this question. Now, sometimes they'll introduce what I call a judgment into the question, and judgment would be where you have to decide where this falls. And I wouldn't get too hung up on that. Like one test taker told me they brought up the Wall Street Journal. I said, nobody is going to, on your exact exam, there's going to be no question that introduces the Wall Street Journal into a question about efficient market hypothesis, unless it's kind of like uh, the dart, famous dart throwing contest of a uh, random walk. Strong form sometimes is referred to a random walk. Anyway, so let's see what... Uh, Chuck, the subject matter expert, tells us about this. The semi-strong form of official market hypothesis states that securities prices fully reflect all publicly available information. This would include all historical information. The weak form relates to historical information only. The strong form relates to public and private material public information. One could conclude from this that both fundamental and technical analysis uh, don't work 
in the efficient market, which would be the semi-strong form of this. Okay, so I hope you found that was helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your 65, 66 is a cinch. And I will post this uh, presently and hope to see you for the uh, next installment of any explication request you may have.